Okay, welcome back guys. Now we're going to be talking about logical operators. We're going to have var result equal to true and true. Then we're going to print result and it's going to return true. So what this is, how this reads is true and true. So if both of these are true, it's going to return true. If one of them is false, it's going to return false. And then we can do the next we'll do true or actually let's also do false and false. Okay. So one one both of these conditions need to be true in order for it to um return true. And another one so how, how this would work is some kind of condition in your code. So let's say you need some Boolean to be true and a number to also match. So like say it was, we can do true and um, let's do this. Let my number equal six. So we're gonna do result equals true and in brackets, we're gonna do my number equals six. And now this will return true because both conditions are true. But if we made this seven, it would return false because my number is not seven. It would probably be pretty useful to look into discrete math, which is a computer science course that you take in your first year of university. It'd be useful to take that. I think that the basics of university are pretty important for programming, especially things like discrete math, but you can find all that online. You could even just look up like a logical operator video and there'll be someone who can explain that much better than I can if you don't know this already, but it's important to understand this kind of logic. So the next one we're gonna do is true, slash slash i'm just going to delete this true so how this reads is true or true so the way this one works is only one of them needs to be true so if we set this to false only one of them needs to be true for this result to be true but if we make both false then it'll return false so the last logical operator that i have for you guys is the not operator. So if we just make this var false, it will print out false. But what we can do is apply the not operator. So it inverts this condition, this uh, Boolean, and it'll make it true. So let's say var my number equals six. So we'll say my number equals equals six. Okay, so it's true. We can wrap it in braces. We can put the not operator. It'll make it not true. So as you can see, this is now false. So those are logical operators. Thanks for watching and see you next time.